all right welcome back guys so in this one we are going to set the we are going to set the app details okay so um let me just do um something i'll come to my file explorer right and i'm going to close all of this because i think i'm done with these files okay so i'll close my home and i'm just going to scroll down okay so i think i can also close the app folder yes i can um okay yeah so i'm just going to scroll down and i'm going to locate config.xml okay and maybe before then i'll just close these files i'm not using at the moment okay so now i'll open config.xml let me go down where is it config where are you all right so config.xml it's somewhere down and i'll click on it all right now this is where i'm closing my file explorer this is where you get to set like the um, details about your app okay so if you see here app name app name here says my app so i'm going to change this to um healthy woman okay so this is what is going to be displayed on the icon on the user's phone okay and then i'm going to add the description for the app so i'm just going to say something like um get health tips for women okay something like that okay because i'm not actually publishing this so i'm just you know helping you see how you can customize this then the widget id right you want to change this so you don't want to leave it as io.ionic.starter okay because this is going to be added to your app url on the play store so what i'm going to say is i'm going to say um com dot healthy a uh, woman sorry woman dot healthy okay so that's what i'm going to do and i'll leave the version as it is and then what else okay auto email so you want to change this to your email so just go ahead and change it so let me just do that i'll say something like xeno at i hope i've not made it okay so i need to i need to close that up okay so i'll say xeno at gmail.com and for the href that's the website i'm just going to say um i'm just going to say xenotrust academy dot com and this um guy here i'm, I'm going to change this to xenotrust team okay okay so basically i'm just changing the details of the app all right so am i missing anything yeah so that's about it for your you just you don't need to touch any other thing so these are just the details you need so my email my website uh description the name of the app i'll just leave all of this as is and the id all right so that's fine so just go ahead and save and i think we are good to go okay so in the next lecture we are going to create an apk from android studio now if you're familiar with ionic i know that we can actually generate an apk from within the um, terminal here using an a command but i've actually used that for some time and it can actually be unpredictable okay so that's why i'm actually trying to stay with what is you know predictable all right so in the next lecture we are going to generate an apk file from all of what we've done